Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be um, paying my e.l.f. products. This is where I just focus basically on um, one brand and that's e.l.f. I did the whole ColourPop thing you now because they went bad really quickly. Um, I got all of my um, cream products from ColourPop. I do have like a little four pan which I need to use up. I'm kind of like, okay, I didn't have a hole, but yeah. So let's get started. I have one empty to show you. Um, and that's my concealer from the concealer, and this is in um, medium sand. This one is in the Hydrian Camo Concealer. Really? Okay. So this is what it looked like. I had like a little bit left around it, so I just scooped it in and stick it into my um, one um, concealer from Arena's, uh, not Arena's not brand, but the other one, Selena's brand. Wear from Wear Beauty. That's what it was. So this is that one. So this is when I was using it down here, type of thing, and then the other one I was using just to for the more darkness. This is what I was using for brightening. Okay, so if you wonder what's on my eyes, actually, uh, my Beauty Juice palette and um, stuff came in as well. Um, I ordered this stuff right before um, I put place my no buy because it came back in stock. <laughs> and I was like, okay, Sarah, you need to go on a completely 50 pan no buy. So this is what the palette looks like. It is so freaking cute. This is what it looks like. So I have the purples and um, the greens. Um, it's been on my eyes since about probably about eight o'clock this morning. Um, and it's like currently about close to four. Um, so yeah, the formula is just beautiful. And then the highlight I absolutely love is the recent decease. Both was on sale. Um, so there's that. I have these two on my, um, as I highlight today. Um, I want to know if you have uh, light skin, um, this is not a palette for you. This is for tan and up. So I'm an NC40 and uh, this guy barely works for me. I haven't tried that one. So as long as you're like in my skin tone range, um, it will work. But if you're any lighter than me, eh -eh. Okay, so let's go back. So there's that. Next, let's get into this guy right here. Um, this is what the um, pan looks like. Um, it's probably not going to have too much progress next month because my friend is heading over towards his uh, brother's for a while, so for Thanksgiving. So I won't be over his house until after uh, Thanksgiving. So I did expand a little bit on that one, then that. I believe I had three pans, so now I've got four. This one I really haven't touched, and that one I haven't touched. I go back between these two and make it kind of like a, like a blushy highlight. So I got a little bit of a dip in that one, and that one I haven't touched because it's a bone shade. So there's that guy. Okay, next I got, it was my e.l.f. blush, and I have hit pan on this guy. You want to know, my shine is so messed up again. So that means my ears are messed up. So there's that guy. So I use this kind of like around here. Today I didn't um, use it really. I do. I don't usually as on the cheeks. I just kind of like only works if you have an orange. It really warm on a tone to use like an orange blush. Kind of like a bronzing-ish effect. Okay. Then we have this guy. This guy is going to not show you too much progress. I guess you can kind of see this is starting to go down a little bit. I would like to hit pan on it soon, but... Not sure, uh, I can, and then that guy is, has a little bit of tad bit of a dent to it. These things are um, not too bad. These are like 0.16 ounces, so these are about 0.08 ounces a piece for these, so that shouldn't be too hard to um, hit paint or anything. The blush is very um, pressed. I have my Dior blush on today in that one palette, which it does kind of work on my skin tone. Kind of just like mushes it together. Okay, so what I'm going to bring in is my other uh, Hydrant Camera Concealer. I did not realize I have two of these. I thought one was the regular one in this, and then I got the this one in my shade, but whatever. So this one is in Tan Natural. This is what I have underneath my eyes, of course, and I had to wear a mix. And I wear a Franken, um, kind of like on a brighten. And this one works better for me. So there's that one. Basically, when I blend out, it matches my hand. When I do, 
This one's starting to go bad too. Um, when I do concealers, I don't want it too light unless I do for like a brightening effect. I want to kind of like match it closer as I say I can to my eyes, underneath my eyes, and then, um, well, my foundation. And then use like kind of like a hydrating, and then use a different concealer for like a brightening effect. So it's not like a Kardashian look. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, so this is going to be fun. <laughs> you probably want to see too much progress on this guy um, because he's the one I take to my friend's house. Um, but you should see progress on the other ones. Um, then, of course, he's probably going then I might have like a few more uses on this one. Um, yeah, I do, it's, it's, it's one similar to uh, hang on my nose. To the naked three and everything like that so you might see some progress on this guy i'm not sure um oh yeah i do have a dip on this guy too so yeah oops um but the only shades i have not touched much is this one right here and that one these are the only two i haven't really touched this one and that one is the only two i haven't really touched this one i have oh, this is very light this is kind of like my cliche in this palette but yeah Anyways, um, like and subscribe to my channel. Um, next one is probably at my, I'm not sure which one. Um, but anyways, um, like and subscribe and everything like that. And I talk to you guys later. Hopefully my voice doesn't sound like shit. And I talk to you guys later in my next video. Bye guys.